hello and welcome into the hourglass i wanted to get some messages from your person what are they dying to tell you what are they on the verge of telling you so i would like to pick messages that this person is already in the in the energy or getting themselves prepared to tell you and that's something that they're never going to tell you uh they may have hinted to you this before so pay attention for any type of subtle cues these subtle cues could come from your body as well so it could come in the, the form of airs ringing goose pimples or goose bumps or just a twitching of the eye it's it's your body's going to react to it because it's going to pick up on the truth or what they what the body already recorded so this could be in your subconscious mind as well just right below of your awareness you know something that you may have forgotten but your subconsciousness has recorded it <laughs> all right so this is all about whether they're planning to tell you what they're getting ready to tell you and what they intend to tell you what they're dying to tell you so we're going to get a topic or we're going to get a description about whoever is involved with this deck we have false person so this may have been someone that um they were not being truthful about who they are. I feel like this person has a very powerful present with the eight. They may have a very strong personality. They may demand a lot of authority and keeping people at bay or, you know, keeping a lot of things private or secretive is one way to achieve that. Now, I'm not saying that this person is a liar, but I'm saying that they kept a lot of things private. So it's almost like don't ask, don't tell or if you don't ask the right questions, this you're not going to get the right answers. So if this person is very particular or they kind of like, um, what is that word? They cherish their privacy. Oh, that took a while to come out. This person may like to role play or they really like to dress quirky. Maybe they're kind of into theater or they kind of have like that theatrical attitude larger than life person they may dress really well this person because of their uh privacy issues i feel like it comes from trust issues so you may have been dealing with someone that has a lot of trust issues they may trust you though but it took some time and i feel like <coughs> i feel like <coughs> sorry guys i'm wheezy a little bit there I feel like this person trusts you because they keep close eye or they're really, really close behind of you. This person may have a lot of run-ins with friend enemies or right now, whenever you guys don't talk, this person may feel like you guys are enemies. It's like we're not talking, so we're not friends type of vibe. I'm sorry, you guys. I had to take my inhaler. So it's part of life. It's part of my life. It may, if it makes you feel kind of awkward or weird, I'm totally sorry about that. But it's it's my life. So and it's my health. <clears throat> anyway, so we have a lot of deceit may follow this person around or because of deceit, this person has learned not to be so trustworthy or trusting of others. Now. It does has a hint of dishonesty. So for a long time, they could have been acting very contradicting to how they feel or to their truth. So even though they may have not come and tell you, like, listen, boop, bop, boop, we're about to find out further. They have been acting contradicting to that, to not lead you on or to not um, give some sort of suspicion. That's what I'm feeling. So they're very good at disguising things or hiding things pretty well or they have a very particular way of how they talk they use certain words they think before they talk they kind of give i don't know answers frequency because they don't know where you're coming from per se we have expectations so your person may have been lying about an expectation now i'm going to say lying now because i saw like a hint of um red like spark up in the back that could just be my imagination going crazy again but they may have lied about an expectation they may have with you or about you this could have been in the beginning when they got to know you they just had certain expectations because of past betrayals not uh you know trust issues so it's like yeah i'm expecting you to do this this and that because that's what i'm accustomed to or i've been there i've done that 
the situation between the both of you may have started out very similar to something else before that they had that did not work well that may have caused this person to adapt this very deceptive or cunning behavior now it may be about a commitment it may be about a group or a facility or institution that they go to or a, they work with or they could be using social media to kind of like check up on you or to pay attention to you i feel like this person is doing their necessary research on people so they may have a group of people that know a lot of people that they go to maybe a sibling maybe a close friend um, but they have resources that they could go to to kind of find out about people so i feel in some sense that they do trust you but it's something about your expectations that they may have feel like you lied to them about or they're lying to you about. So let's see how they feel right now currently about what they have to tell you. So right now, they may be kind of <clears throat> deceiving you because they're not telling you what they need to tell you and they're acting contradicting to it. All right. We have comfort. So they're kind of sleeping on it a lot. They kind of like dragging their feet on it a lot, but I feel like they do this. This is like, um, <clears throat> this is like a habit that they do. So every time they have like this pressure building up to kind of tell you what they're preparing to tell you, they go and rest on it. They're like, you know what? Let me go and sleep it off. Or when they get in bed, they think about all the things that they could tell you, how you would react. So they play a lot of these scenarios and then they fall asleep, probably clutching their phone. So it's like, yeah, I'm going to call and say this and do this. And I bet you they're going to say this and they're going to say that and they're going to do this. But then they fall asleep with the phone in their hand. And then when they wake up, they're like, don't. So the longer the person take to tell you or the longer they take to prepare to tell you whatever this is, the more suspicious and deceiving they look. And I feel like they know that. Let's see how they're feeling about you. So they're feeling very creative. They're finding a, a different approach or they're being very creative in the approach that they're going to take when they're going to tell you what they're going to tell you. All right. So they're, again, using their imagination. They lay at bed at night and they say, oh, I'm going to call such and such. I'm going to call my booty up, my boo thing up, my what, my what throat goat. I'm going to call my throat goat up or I'm going to call up my goddess, my God. I'm going to call up my high priestess. I'm going to call up my whoever. And I'm going to say this, this and that. And I bet you they're going to go this, this and that. And they just let it go crazy. They use their imagination to express themselves a lot. So this is what I'm saying. This is a very private person. They kind of play out every scenario, uh, every which way, every, every position on the board that they could think of before they actually present themselves or actually come out. So they may be kind of like rewriting their script. They may have a script that they want to go by just in case they mess up. We have 828, maybe a door number, maybe a flight a uh, time, maybe a time stamp as well, maybe uh, a birthday. We have safe. So right now they're kind of like sheltering themselves. It's like the, it's like they're preparing before the storm. So they kind of like expect you to be stormish or chaotic when they come with this news or they expect to like have like this very heated debate possibly of why you took so long and why do you act that way if this so they're planning for the storm they're getting prepared they're gonna get their batteries they're gonna get extra water <laughs> they could also be planning to kind of like scoop you up or they're planning to kind of tell you this face to face it's like they don't want to have like this facade or hiding behind social media or text messages or phones they don't want anything to be between you guys to give you guys um the opportunity to run it's something to do with an expectation you have of thou so maybe it's commitment maybe they started to talk about commitment or settling down or having a relationship or what's next. And then you were like, well, I was expecting you to do it this way and that way. So now they're like having to screw around to get uh, ready. Um, and they're trying to act all calm or they're trying to act in a way where you don't sus, uh, sus, sus, what you don't suss them out. Cause they feel like if you see what they're, if you see what they're doing, you're going to know what they're up to. <laughs> He's being mysterious. I'm hearing Michael Jackson 
Liberian girl. That part when he was like, you came and you changed my world, just like in the movie. So this person is very theatrical. They're very like, move. this like a, a romantic com comedy movie you guys are doing here. I don't know, but you guys may be actors and actresses or you guys really know how to role play. So how are they feeling right now about themselves and this truth that they're preparing to tell you? Oh, they're bored. <laughs> they're getting idle. Because they're exhausting all of their scenarios in their head. We have curious. Yeah. They're very curious to see how you're going to respond. They're very curious to see where this is going. For some of you, this person is actually um, thinking about a lot of plans of actions to take to see where this is going to go. So they may not know um, what's going to play out, but they do have a plan of actions or they have some things they want to talk about to see where it's going to lead to. But you may have some very high expectations or you have very particular expectations of them. And it's like they have to always keep um, researching or they always have to keep looking to be updated. So it's like they're paying attention, you know, they're, they're scoping you out. All right, so let's see what it has to do with. Oh, I hate when I don't know. You know what? I need to start getting prepared before I start these readings because like I s just do them spontaneously. So let's see. This is all about romance and love deck. So let's see what this could be about. What is the truth? This is just a bird eye view. It may be just the tip of the iceberg. It may be the full thing. We don't know. This is just a general reading to take it how it resonates. What are they preparing to tell you? What are they preparing to tell you? What is the topic? Oh, we have love and emotional freedom. You guys, I'm done. <laughs> we have dating. Oh, snaps. You guys, if you get married, send me some wedding pictures. I want to be involved. This person is starstruck by you. This part, you make this person want to be better. And every time they're like checking you out, they're paying attention, they're stalking you, whatever it is trolling you whatever they're doing they're getting a lot of wisdom they're getting a lot of insights on you i do feel like you guys have a very strong emotional chemistry going on like you guys are very attracted to each other you guys are very different or you communicate very differently but this person love it it may have been a challenge before and it caused a lot of rigidness in the uh, connection or whatever but i feel like they have overcame it and they now see you with loving gooey chubby eyes like glossy eyes this person's love you and i feel like they don't want you to know what they're up to because they want to surprise you they want to impress you this person may want to serenade you they may even want to sing they may have poetry they may even have a lovely movie that they want you to watch just to kind of like tease you or to try to like um assinuate what they're wanting to get at hey so they're very curious on where this dating could go so they may want to tell you like listen i think we should try to get to know each other more or let's move to the same city so we could see each other more often or there's a plan of action here but this person may have um they may know the outcome, but they're not showing me the outcome right now as far as the cards are set up. They're just showing me like they really want to start getting to know you on a regular basis. They want to be very predictable with you or they want to have like a very solid routine. They want some sort of solid connection here with you, but they're acting contradicting to it. And I feel like they sense that they're wasting time or they're waiting for the right time to kind of leap out. Um and start this where this going type of vibe so they want to to date you because they love you they love and like you oh what time is it 14 minutes and all right so um i don't know what to say they feel like you're a unicorn they feel like you're very rare and unique and you don't remind them of anyone and they're like this jack rabbit want to jump on you that little chihuahua <laughs> they want to just hump you like a little chihuahua. They feel like you came from the heavens, you know? Projects will lead to success. Fruitful networking and opportunities. So they're like, 
gunning for this. They're very determined, very particular. So they may have some links or strings pulling behind the scenes. I feel like you guys do have your own secret love language. Only you know that I, only you know what they mean and vice versa. I was raised to manipulate than love. So, oh my goodness. So this person choosing to follow a higher path this person knows manipulation this is where the trust issues come from with the false person but you have shown them a very safe space you may be a healer someone that created a space for this person to heal themselves this person may have been already broken or worn down because of trust issues because of manipulation you know what this could have been going on in their own home and they were very bored of it but they were very familiar with it and they kept running with that program into their adult life that caused a lot of stagnancy it caused a lot of trust issues it caused a lot of lies it caused this person to want to lie and to want to be private as well but with you i feel like you don't push this part you don't push your expectations you may make them known but you don't force them to get in line with your expectations you're like okay you know what if you're not on board i could be doing other things like brushing my fucking hair or like plucking my eyebrows or like doing my nails or like watering my plants cooking a fucking fantastic meal that you're gonna miss because you're not on board with the shits and this person you, you didn't even make a big shit about it. You just kept moving on with your life. You're in your fucking tower, you know, doing what you're doing. You're probably in your empire, your kingdom, your own little spot. And this person is like, dang, I got to keep my eye on this one. This, I, I got to keep my eye on My eye is on you, on you. Yeah, because you didn't push them. You didn't push them around. You didn't force them. So that, this person is very intrigued. You're the mysterious one. I see you everywhere. Oh my gosh, this person has associated you with some sort of animal, maybe a unicorn, or maybe every time they see wings, they, ju they just think about my angel, my baby. Oh my God, my baby. Maybe it's a certain, a certain hairstyle, a certain car. It's something to do with an animal or a hairstyle that they, every time they see you, they, they, they think it's you. It's a reminder. Oh my gosh, every place this person turns because your expectations is out of worldly, but they may, people may have been asking them for this, for expectations, but it never was like yours. And it's like, it makes them intrigued to want to know more where it could lead to. You challenge this person. Yes. <laughs> You're a sexy, gorgeous, yummy challenge. And you make this person want to be free to pursue it. So it's almost like you let them come for you. Like, come for me, baby. Come for me. <laughs> I'm getting like this very explicit duo hair. Madly in love with you. You guys, if you're into like Kevin Gates and like Lil Kim, if you have like that nasty personality, wink, wink, that queen bee nasty personality, um, check out. And you know Kevin Gates could be very dramatic, but he's very spiritual and emotional, very expressive. Check out minds by um kevin gates and lil kim minds hashtag minds that may be something for you guys maybe along the lines of something for you guys those that resonate so this person is madly in love with you they can't let you go no 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 this is my fish out of this whole ocean you are my fish you're like a good catch you're great and when you're not around this person is fucking dead they're bored they're looking at the time when are you gonna shut up bitch because i have to be somewhere else like in my room thinking about my boo all right maybe this is a crush or you guys never like maybe could be fuck buddies and this person is like oh my god i can't believe i fell for my fuck buddy you know I gotta go to my room so I could think about my crush. Okay, don't talk to me because I'm still not over my crush who doesn't even want me. That's fine. I have too much going on right now. Yeah, too much in the damn head. Or they're telling you they're mad busy, but that's fake busy. Unavailable. I don't want to screw around. I want to take what is mine and enjoy it. This person is fake busy. They will be, um, are not available to anyone because they cherish their privacy, their secret. They're very secretive. It's a lot of things people don't know about this person. A lot of passion, a lot of sensitive side, a lot of likes, a lot of don't likes. People don't know them, but I feel like you do. You guys may have like this open relationship or this open friendship where you guys show each other that you love each other really 
a lot but you have boundaries you have very healthy boundaries that you put in place and this person respect the fuck out of you because of that so right now they're very unavailable because they may be stacking their shmoneys to try to come get you i don't I don't know how you feel until you tell me. So this person don't know where they stand up with you. And this is part of the mystery. This is what keeps them intrigued. This is what keeps them turned on. So this is very tricky with this person because I don't know. They may be like a cat. You know, the, money, the minute you show them attention and affection, they run off. Like, what? Trippy. And when you keep ignoring them, they love you. Some cats are like that. Not every cat is like that. So you make them feel very adventurous about life again you make them feel like they want to do life again like you they want to be involved with love they were good being a bachelor or a bachelorette to tell you the truth and if they're with someone right now that person don't even exist it's like a boring ass relationship it's like basic shit i don't i'm waiting for this to be over I don't want to look like the bad guy, but I'm waiting for this to be over. So they could be acting like a jerk to that person, not available to that person, emotionally unavailable to that person. I feel like this person falls back on uh, emotionally unavailability because it's a protective mechanism. We have the Knight of Wands. So your person is a go-getter and they're trying to take action like now, very lustful, want to kiss you, want to tease you, want to know what you have up under that dress or up under that trousers, that pant, that jeans. What in them jeans by genuine, genuine in those jeans. This person is very respectable to you. They want to get raunchy and crazy, but it's like they don't want you to walk away with the five of swords. They want to get crazy. They want to be rude. They want to talk to you like a bitch, you know, but they know that's not acceptable because you just walk away. You probably be hurt, but then you'd be like, you wouldn't be interested and they know it. So they like, they try to play to win at all costs. This is somebody that plays to win at all costs. They don't, they're not into losing with the five of swords. All right. So they're getting their shit together. You better get ready. Whoever you are five of one. So we have five, five. This person is very self-determined. They're coming with some sort of change and they come in to shake shit up with the five of one. So they may be coming with a compromise. They may be coming with solutions. This may be someone that you don't have to do too much with 10 of pentacles, four of cups. Yeah. Because whatever they have going on, if they're married or they're in a committed relationship with their family, it's just dissatisfying. And you know, they're bored with their family life. So they may live in a very um, I'm seeing like a tall building or they live in a nice home or if they live in a building in an apartment, they're very bored. It's like they're running out of things to distract themselves or do with the four of cups. A lot of imagination, a lot of fantasies. It's like they could think about you all day. They could think about what you would do to them all day. They, they would love to stay in fantasy if they could stay, sit under a tree like Alice in Wonderland and just float off in a dream once upon a dream they would i feel like they want longevity they want it all with you and they want it they intend to show you this in time like they want to space it out all good things take time is what i'm getting so your person is very aware of value they're very aware of the sweetness of time you may be a very sweet person very yummy you like 10 stars, five stars. They want to take you to a five-star place. Very theatrical. Oh, my God. Two of cups. So I'm feeling like your person wants to um, introduce you to their family. They want to spend family time or they want to be with your family. If you guys have two different families, they want to family blend. So your person may be very big on family, but they may be very private. So their own family doesn't even know who the fuck they are. But they do know the side of them that's helpful, that's creative, that's always there when they need. So this person is very family oriented. We have the two of cups. This person feels like you're joined to their hip. They want to be inseparable. They may have been faking for a long time that they were your friend. Like, we can't be no friends. What you talking about? <laughs> so they may have been just lying about wanting to be friends. Like, we just friends. Nah, we ain't. Friends don't be looking at each other like that. What you mean? How am I looking at you? I know. You're the empress. So they want a rich new beginning. They want some rich sex too, as a matter of fact. They feel like you guys gonna have like this rich 
life going on or it's like very enriched with love and unconditional love you could be a badass too you have your own they know that ass come with an attitude you little badass self they know even if you're a guy they know your ass come with attitude you have a heart of gold and they love that about you you may be very fertile or you have like um uh baby hip uh childbearing hips they love your hips oh my goodness they want to know what you got up under there you know you're very reserved or you have like this sex appeal that drives them crazy you're their main focus period empress page of cups i'm just shuffling cards now i'm not even putting up on that board so they may want to tell you all of this that they're planning to like lift you up as their empress they plan to show people that you are it this is the wife all right so you may have a daughter or you have like this innocent feminine energy to you they may feel like you're very fun loving very trusting so you have earned this person's trust you may have a new look right now you may be very psychic uh, or you, you're heavily psychic because you're connected to this person unconditionally with this unconditional universal love. You're the truth. So it's like this person is very aware that you have a psychic ability, but they may not know how powerful it is with the Empress energy. They may look at you as very innocent and they want to protect that. They may be following. They may know things about you that you don't know that they know. Dang. I feel like they have pictures in their phone or voice recordings. They have video of you and they look at how innocent your features are. The devil is here, the diablo is here, and they got some love to share. Oh, snap. <laughs> All right, so with the devil coming through, this, this feels like a slow burn. This feels like they want to ruin you sexually. Oh, my God. Your person may be tall, dark, and handsome or have like this this tan. Oh my God. Oh, oh. Oh. So they're in the King of Wands emperor energy and you're in the empress with the with the page of cups energy so you may be just like giving a little bit of hints that you like in them you may be just very fun loving and light um very flirtatious or you keep it very light you don't go too heavy because you have your expectations and your boundaries in place they may be in this emperor with the knight no, sorry, with the King of Wands energy where they're fired up with the Knight of Wands as well. So they're ready to take what is theirs. They're ready to take action. They don't care. They're ready to take everything in their hands with the devil energy. They're very seduced by you. It's very, they're burning. They're very aroused. Oh, you're a hella bad. I feel like they want to trick you into having sex with them. Oh, did I say that? Mm -hmm. In a very... Um, provocative and playful way so they may want to play fight with you on the bed and oh your shirt came undone or they're gonna take their shirt off and you just be like whoo and they're gonna just be like you know what tell me you want me to go and you're just gonna be like eh, I can't breathe <laughs> they're gonna be like tell me you don't want me and you're just gonna be like eh, I don't <laughs> I got that power over you. Listen, you got that power over this person. Kevin Gates, power. Oh, my God. We have the page of wands. This is a sneaky little devil. They are plotting for you. They're going to travel. They may be making reservations. Or they're thinking about making reservations and they need to talk to you. The sun. You can't hide from this love, baby. Some LL Cool J shit going on. The Ten of Wands. So listen, they're pushing through. They're very self-determined, even though they cannot see the light. at it. They don't know where this is going to go, but they know that you're their empress. You're their, you're their other half, all right? You're an equal. You're somebody that they could trust, somebody that could could power them up somebody that could empower them but still stand up to them you have that um determination about you so you're you're just like them you're a female or a masculine version of them and they love it they, it, they, it drives them crazy but they do have this darkness that they're in they have a very dark side to them and they're wondering if this is going to be a problem this is why they feel like they can't see a future or too far in the future with you because they don't know how you may react to their dark side of the devil so they may be very aroused i feel like you're dancing with someone that's very dark or someone that's very very dangerous 
oh my god dangerous mm. or they may feel like you're dangerous this person wants to do a lot of sexual position this person knows what you want with the horror font <gasps> they're gonna take it to the altar i feel like this person wants to have consummation with you it's like if they have sex with you it's gonna seal the deal or having sex with you seal the deal so you think back on the last time you guys did the nasty it sealed the deal for this person this person sees you you are them and they are you in the empress and the empress emperor and the empress energy this person is in the king of of wands where they're going to get what they want they're wearing up a lot of pros and cons they're measuring out a lot of shit hair but believe me they're not going to delay their happiness whatever is burning them they're going to throw that shit on the floor some of them like to play with fire or they're working with fire element or they're a fire sign some of them could be a capricorn or taurus energy libra taurus energy all signs are welcome, but I'm just saying, those are the most predominant energy. We have Leo, we have Aries again. So this person wants to be supportive and it's like, you, I'm your dad, you're I'm the mama bear. So we've all, we got us against the world. They're always watching you. It's like the lion behind the lioness uh, type of photo. It's like, you protect me, I protect you and vice versa. This is us. This person is very powerful. They're very willing to do what it takes. Hey, they feel like you're fire or you have ignited the fire within them. It's like nobody else is worth it. Nobody else is worth this commitment, this expectation, this willing to give it a chance. You are. If this person hurt you in the past because of their darkness, because of their trust issues, I feel like they are learning to kind of like end those unhealthy ways about themselves. They could be recovering from an addiction of being very secretive or even telling half truth here. I feel like they have been very limited from very uh, wicked things in the past. I feel like they're working on that. They may have been someone that had accept a very bad situation due to like society norms or due to cultural shit. They're learning to put that behind of them. It's like they're giving themselves permission to make their own system, their own way. Hey, you inspire them. You make them want to do this because they're tired of their old lifestyle of just getting with people for money or people trying to get with them for money, house, land. They may have sorts of things like that because they're very into luxury or materialism they may have a lot of good things going on but they're bored they're missing love they're missing emotional freedom they're missing someone that could um challenge them that could be an equal to their thirst to their hunger i feel like this person wants to lift you up they're very aroused and you're very alluring. I feel like this person wants to lure you in with their very feisty ego. So they want to be very impressive for you. They want to give you the clarity that you need and they're going to make you know the truth. So they might supersede or they try to supersede an expectation when it comes to dating or love. They feel like they are very wise enough to kind of like make this happen. They may have went through a lot of experience that have made them very wise and very like emotionally smart. So they may be very emotionally intelligent right now or they're going through that or they're trying to be in that energy. Oh, child. So if they were in this no effort energy, I feel like that has totally changed. This person may have been very sexual or they have a high sex drive. They may have been a sexual addict before, or this is something that they're working on. There may be some sexual addictions, or if you guys had sex, this person is connected to you, honey. All right. It's nothing that's going to block this person with the 10 of wands. They're very exhausted, but at the end of the day, they want to come home to their mama bear or their papa bear. They don't care. They could be tired. They want sex. They could be sleeping. Wake me up. You want sex? Wake me up. Oh, you at the store and you feeling some sort of way? I'm coming. What store you at? That's, that's the type of level they want to be on with you. They want to be this emperor taking everything in their own hands. They could be a control freak. 
and this is why they tell half truth this is why they're very private they may have a very private estate or they have money and they're very secretive about that because they want someone to love them this person may be just thinking or taking on a lot as an emperor so they may have children they may have tons of responsibilities and this is what they're very private about but they're planning to make way here they're very stressed about pushing forward here with you they could have some burdens but when it comes to you when they think about your smile who you are is like fuck it it's worth it this person is learning to say no to some people so i don't know if they have other options or they have other people that's wanting commitment from them and they're like no blocked all right and again they're very private this person is easy to like disappear out of people lives if they have been in your life for a long time this person number has changed frequently or they have deactivated their profile pages a lot they may have went off the grid the grid numerous of times but they always kept in contact with you boom that's a strong indicator that they love you and they trust you if you have their number their cell for three and four phones they trust you they want a good ending and they want to work for it this is the ten of wands that's that little shorty pushing all those wands in the sand that's working hard for what i want all right that's taking on tons of responsibilities to get what i want not losing focus and even when they don't have focus even when it feels like an uphill struggle or a battle they still push even when this relationship or whatever this is gets too hard they still push and you're up in your tower like, e -he -he -he, you're not doing too enough. That's not part of my expectations. <laughs> oh, I'm just tricking. I'm just tricking. All right. So let's see what's going on with this page of wands and the devil. Oh, my God. So they're exploring their dark side. They're kind of looking at some beliefs here that may be stopping them with this ten of wands. And it's like, you know what? I got to let it go. And it could have something to do with a family or a family situation. You know, a lot of family paradigms or programs that has been pushed on them was very burdensome. I feel like they're like, no, that ain't me no more. All right. The horrifying energy. So they're leading with intellect and emotion. They're very powerful right now. You made me fall in love with you without doing anything. All in your face. All in your face. All in your face. Can I have my face back? Yep. So this person, intellect, um, it, it doesn't play a major role in their development right now because their intellect came from a family paradigm that they're bored with that shit. That shit is not getting them what they want. And if they're in this night and king of wands they want to get what the fuck they want all right you can't tell this person no heart and fire emotional devoted bliss oh my god you are their one you're their world you're their everything this is something that they're preparing they're gauging up to tell you you're their wife you're their husband it's nobody be you can't look beyond me there's nobody but me they're following their higher path with the Hierophant, leading with intellect and emotion. They're moving through their spiritual path or their spiritual transformation, balance, and a meaningful way. So they're coming through with a meaningful uh, truth here as well. They're growing out of simply just following traditions. They're like, Fuck that. Let me go on my higher path. They want to marry you. They want to take you to the chapel. So there's some dark truth here. What is this dark truth? that you're incredible in bed so you're the best they ever had uh, okay so their dark truth was they were raised to manipulate than love so they're going to be constantly watching you for manipulation tactics they're going to be constantly waiting for you to start being manipulative oh my gosh uh, oh what listen you're incredible in bed so this is one you know everybody's not perfect so this is why they're the control freak madly in love with you came up again we have i grew up thinking i had a deadbeat father whole time i really had a very bitter mother so this is something that they have to tackle this is something that they have to break away from this is something that they have to rebel from society norms the traditions that they learn from a very bitter mother vice versa i feel like they have to come in a very positive way and that may be kind of struggling with them with the devil energy so right now they're kind of freeing themselves from a lot of destructive habits or addictions or things that they learn to be addicted to your person has a over stimulated sex drive like they trying to hump you like a rabbit they trying to make these babies all right my mic drops so i think that is it drop the mic
<laughs> so thank you very much for tuning in please like subscribe share hit that notification bell thank you guys so much for your support your donations your tips to the free readings here on the hourglass if you would like to be more supportive please check out the description box below with all of the details and i'll see you guys in another channel message drop the mic ciao